I think it's just the feeling of being happy. When you hear funk, you can't stand still. Funk means uh, good times and dancing. It's a feeling, and it's a feeling that gets you moving, grooving, you can't fight it. it, it just takes over you. It's freedom on stage. People going on the stage together and jump and play and try to find your little part into a bigger ensemble. I think uh, George Clinton probably captured it best with Parliament Funkadelic, uh, One Nation Under a Groove. I think funk uh, is really a, a musical movement, a cultural movement that brings people together in celebration, but it's not a mindless celebration. It's a celebration that's filled with passion and politics and social engagement and humor and sexiness. Funk is also the musical soundtrack and the socio-cultural thread elsewhere in the world, and it had an effect almost everywhere in the world. If you ask 10 different people, you might get 10 different answers. I hear it, and I respond to it a certain way. I'm starting to move to it before I'm, before I'm cognizant of that. To me, funk, funk makes you want to move, and I can't help myself. I believe that it's something that everybody can feel. It doesn't matter where you are, what color you are. Once the funk comes on, I think uh, it changes the whole mood in the room. It's contrapuntal and it's ad attitudinal <laughs> because uh, you have to play the rhythms, your rhythm against another person's rhythm with an attitude. Uh, I'm leaving now. <laughs> The goal when we uh, commissioned the Funk Project was to create a project that can live on in other universities that can become the basis not only of performances but of also educational activities like the ones that we presented here that can use Funk as a vehicle to show films, to have discussions, to integrate with classes. Uh, at the same time to create a show that could also exist uh, within festivals traveling around the world as a concert event as well. Well my role in this project as a producer has been a big learning curve for me um, because there's a lot of aspects of doing a big production which what I was not familiar with and I've had to learn how to make certain things happen, how to interact with different people, how to... There's a lot of things that I've learned which has been very interesting for me. You know, it's been great, it's been an education. And I'm very pleased to have been able to bring these guys to be able to do this. It's strange that we're doing this in Abu Dhabi first, because of course, funk came from America, and you would think that's where you would be doing it. But as they say, a prophet is never heard in their own country. Well, Pee Wee and Charlotte called me about two years ago and invited me to come on board as co-producer of a project called Funk, Evolution of the Revolution, which would trace the history of funk for the past five decades. Um, I jumped on board immediately because it spoke so profoundly to what I do believe, which is that music has a vital importance in human life. It, it, is, it is for humans like as necessary as breathing, as eating, as sleeping. We need music. And in this case, funk has served its purpose not only as a, a joyful explosion that makes people move, that makes people dance, but it carries an incredibly important message. I was with James Brown when we started a revolution in music. The music uh, that was called funk. And the evolution of it is uh, what has happened to it since then and continues to, continues to happen now. Uh, so it's evolving and I'm very happy about that. It's pretty simple. Well, you know, um, James Brown, along with Pee Wee Ellis, they, uh, they did funk naturally. You know, they, it, it was uh, 
no electronics, no amplification, no anything except real instruments, real people, real horns, real drums, and uh, they got funky as you want to get with just natural instruments. <laughs> been a wonderful opportunity to come to Abu Dhabi in the first place and get to visit this country and to meet its people and see the beautiful shoreline and feel the beautiful warm weather and to experience the NYU campus here has been a wonderful experience for me and for Fred. I'm mainly here to support Fred and to make sure he has all that he needs while he's working on the project. But I also grew up with this music, so I've been able to offer input and have been asked for input along the way. So songs that I remember and songs that I loved have been included and that's been fun to see. And I've had a good opportunity to learn too about how the pieces fit together and how the revolution has evolved. It's important when we bring artists here that uh, that they don't just see the university and the venues and their hotel, uh, but that they actually really discover the UAE. So when the artists come, uh, we always bring them on a tour of Abu Dhabi, uh, and we bring them to the Grand Mosque, and we bring them along the Corniche so that they have a sense of this city. Uh, but for this project in particular, where we wanted to create more of a local connection, it was important to bring Fred and Pee Wee to Alliance so that they could really see some of the more traditional soul of the country. Uh, while they were there, we met with uh, two different schools. Uh, we met with uh, a music school to really get a sense of what's happening here and where the needs are and sort of understand the role that the Art Center can play. When we started this music 50 years ago, I didn't have any idea it would be relevant now because what happened, this music started quite by uh, accident, coincidence, you might say, because it wasn't a planned thing. We didn't know that we were making history doing this. We were just going to work every day. You know, as at the masterclass the other day, we had a lot of people who came with an instrument who never played funk. They may never play funk again, but they had a great experience just playing with other musicians. And they, they left happier. They left having learned something, having experienced something. And that's the point. I think when people feel something, it moves lots of other things forward. And these two gentlemen are, every concert I see them play, I see people walk out happier than when they came in. You know, that's fantastic. Excuse me. And you know, if we can keep that kind of um, richness moving in, in the world, it can only be good. It doesn't have to be a lot to play. That's the thing. It might be one note. Boom, you know.
When you go along living your own life, you don't realize that, that the impact you are having on people. And, and that's what this, uh, this project has had, uh, made me realize, that uh, uh, I have affected a lot of people's lives. And uh, 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 me, along with P.B. Ellis, we have a res responsibility to, to continue to create music and to uh, expound upon the music that we have created. <laughs> Um, I think more are starting to understand the connection because you have records like Bruno Mars, Uptown Funk. You have artists like uh, Kendrick Lamar, who just recently won a Grammy for you know best rap record of the year, and a lot of his songs from To Pimp a Butterfly were heavily influenced by funk, and he had George Clinton on his record. As they said, when they created funk, they didn't think it would make rap or affect disco or touch somebody in Brazil. But look at all the things that have happened and rolled out from that one thing that started in a studio somewhere in America. Um, and that's, that is really it. You never know. Once you get people together and you open their minds, something new happens. Um, Hip-hop is based on soul and funk. There wouldn't be a genre of hip-hop, there wouldn't be a culture of hip-hop had it not been for that. A lot of our early music sampled records from James Brown and Parliament and Earth, Wind and & Fire and a lot of the basis of what we do from how we carry ourselves, how we, how we even uh, enunciate our words, how we you know, perform, a lot of that came from how they perform, even from how they would have jam sessions, how we have freestyle sessions. A lot of it is offsets of what they paved the way for, the foundations that they laid. So um, we're so connected. Hip-hop is a son of funk. I have been made to realize that it's had an impact on all genre of music. Because uh, if you listen closely, you can hear funk in everything, everything, every, every musical piece that you hear, you hear some funk into it. I mean, who would ever thought that uh, playing one change over and over again would be uh, a, a, a way to create music, you know, but all genre of music has that element in it now. But uh, um, I think that uh, um, we have a responsibility to move it forward. And so I hope this, this uh, revolution of the evolution continue because it is very important in music. One of the other great things of working here is that we've been able to archive material. So we hope to be able to bring this story back to schools, our art centers, all over the world, but first of all, it would make seem sensible America, um, and bring a smaller version of what we're doing here to tell this story across America. Wherever we go, what we hope to do is include local artists. The Art Center's role in developing the Funk Project was that we were the primary commissioners. We provided not only the financial resources, but all of the, uh, all of the academic resources here at the university, as well as access to all the technical support, so that the artists could come here for two weeks to really develop the outline of the show, 
to rehearse it, to talk about the different issues involved so that they could come away with a project that hopefully they can tour for years to come. All of these events are funk. They are steeped in funk. So this is, this is something really huge and incredibly timely that needs, it's a story that needs to be told now. And there's nobody better to tell that story than Pee Wee Ellis, who was there from day one, and he's still here today. That's how lucky we are. From my side, there are so many aspects of the story that you can tell. Funk affected dance, it affected, it was part of culture, it was part of art, it affected art, fashion. So there are so many things you can talk about in relation to this project. I can't see that it can stop moving forward. And this is our jumping off point, so we're excited. <laughs>